Damn, people out here are on the struggle bus. They've been in the league <laughs> for 10 years with yeah. the same guys getting clowned, wearing, like, having to do all kinds of loser right. things at the end of the league. Like, we got to save them, man. This is it. This, this is the life raft, man. Like, just pay attention. I'll give you a couple of tips to make your life a lot easier. And hopefully, at least you make the playoffs. If Once you make the playoffs, that's what it makes you a little bit. There's always going to be something random happening in the playoffs. So as long as you get to the dance, then you have a chance to bring home the gold. Well, let's dig in then. I got a couple questions for you, Dan. The first one is, what are some of the differences between category roto and points league specifically when it comes to drafts so we have people at different stages of their journey with fantasy basketball just talk a little bit about each one and if you have some tips if people are drafting in those formats yeah so i'd say the first thing i would always recommend anyone if you're jumping into a fantasy league is understand the league settings first so make sure you know whether you're playing into a head-to-head league which generally is against different people each week and then you play for the entirety of the season and then once it comes to the end if you're one of the top usually six teams in a 12 team league then you'll battle it out in a playoff style format that's similar to um fantasy football where it's just one 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 win you move on if you lose you're out um and then you battle for the championship i think that's the most common fantasy basketball league right now so even though yahoo's default is the points league which i'll get into in a little bit you'll see most people opting for the head-to-head leagues just because it's a week-to-week thing if you lose a week you still have a chance to make uh, a couple of moves to get back in the game rotisserie is a little bit different rotisserie you're going to be playing against the entire league the entire season and it's going to have a combination of points but it's mostly going to be category leagues and when i say categories i mean you're going to be playing against people in points rebounds assists steals blocks field goals made three pointers made turnovers and free throw percentage So nine categories and across those nine categories, you have to have this correct balance and depending on how you stack up against in each category, you're going to be assigned a point depending on how many teams you have in your league. So say that I'm number one in points, I'll get a a number 12. If I'm in a 12 team league, you have to manage that through the entire season. It's very convoluted, probably one of the harder leagues to play in. So if you're just getting into it, I don't recommend doing Roto because you have to pay more attention to it. Um, it's like the perfect balance of calculating risk, but then also upside. So it's a little bit tricky um, and less room for error. The last one would be points league. That's right now the default at Yahoo. If you play fantasy football, this is the easiest way to get into fantasy basketball. Very similar format. If you play DFS at all on FanDuel or DraftKings or even Yahoo, um, the point system that you're allotted There are different point values depending on the category. So points, you either get two points, you get three points, same as real life. But then your assists are slightly weighted a little bit higher than your rebounds at 1.5 versus 1.2. And then blocks and steals actually hold the most weight at like two points. So it's an interesting way to kind of look into getting different players. And turnovers don't hurt you as much in a points league. So the guys like Giannis Antetokounmpo, who may not be as great in head-to-head, is a baller in 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 points format. Same with Luka Doncic. So um, my preferred system or league is head to head, followed by points, and then lastly Roto. Got it. And in terms of the draft, uh, when when you're drafting in Roto specifically, are there yeah. any things to watch out for? Because I know most folks who have played a little bit probably played points and maybe graduated to categories. Right. Like Roto's kind of like the you know, like Bigfoot, like, it's like, am I like, (laughs) can I do I right? So for folks who are taking that leap into Roto, are there any particular draft strategies you would point out for them? Yeah, I think it's a since you're trying to create the most balanced roster, it's really hard to punt. And I know we'll talk about punting uh, here shortly. But um, you really want to try to get the guys that are like Tyrese Halliburton, for example, in the first round. Last year, he was one of the breakout guys. But if you look at his stats across the board he gives you 20 points 10 assists but it's not even just that he gives you three pointers he gives you steals he gives you free throw percentage he shoots damn near 50 percent from the field so he's covering so many categories that when you're doing roto you want to definitely look for the guys that are going to give you that cat that cross categorial appeal um category specialists don't matter as much but there's still elements where you could take the the best parts of certain players like Buddy Heald, who you know you can win three-pointers if you have Buddy Heald on your team. 
who also happens to shoot good from free from the free throw line and give you points where he's deficient in certain areas. You can overcompensate with, you can go compensate with other players that might be able to balance out the roster a little bit more. So I think Roto just makes it a little bit more challenging to when you're in the back, in the middle parts of drafts to kind of find the, the glue guys to kind of bring it all in. Um, so yeah, that's why I would recommend if you're new to the game, start with points or head to head leagues. And then once you get a little bit more rhythm and comfortability around it, then go to the, then you can face Bigfoot. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, Roto leagues, the the Bigfoot of fantasy basketball. <laughs> uh, 